Hi everybody, here I am again. I first of all I want to say thank you to everybody who has been watching my previous video. I wasn't really expecting for so many people watching the, the video. I realized that that video was actually lacking some information about the mocha cleaning. I actually skipped a very important part of the of the cleaning. So um, that's why I'm here again to, to explain you, to show you these things, this very vital step. And I also noticed people being skeptical about what I was saying, about the, the thing that actually doesn't require um, only water to, to, to wash and clean properly the mocha. I still many people believing to that uh, common believing or, or stereotypes, whatever you want to call, that it doesn't require soap. You shouldn't use soap when you, when you clean the mocha. Anyway, long, long story short, I um, came up with a conclusion and I think that both ways may be fine in the sense that you may wash your mocha using soap, a neutral soap, a light soap, or you can even, you can even wash your mocha only using hot, very hot water. I think both ways work, but the thing that I didn't uh, tell you last time, it may sound obvious, is that the very the crucial, very important part of the cleaning, it's afterwards, after you clean the mocha, you have to wipe, clean the, mo the mocha. You have to dry it up. Let me show you something. This is a mocha that I bought maybe six years ago and it makes between four and six espresso and I've been doing, I've been trying many different uh, cleaning systems and I've been doing many experiments with this mocha the thing that mostly ruins the mocha is after you wash when you wash the mocha you let it dry by itself on a shelf this is the thing that uh, it ruins it most since the mocha is made by different kind of materials. It's made by aluminium, it's made by titanium, it's made by several, um, several materials. So um, there are some parts made of steel. This is the mocha. And as you can see, in the inside, it's, it's very dirty. I have been sitting here inside the the, the boiler has been definitely ruined by by water also if you look at the bottom this is also rust this is the effect of the water okay well now I'm going to show you another another mocha another cafetiera this is um, between two and four espressi I've been always cleaning uh, using soap obviously and I always dry it up I always always dry it up and as you can see it's like new this mug as well has several years I bought a few years ago uh, you wouldn't be able to, to, to tell if this mug it's a, a, it's a second hand one or it's a, a brand new. This is really the mocha after I think three or four years at its original state. I'll show you inside. Look at this. Okay, to cut this thing short, this is something obvious that I forgot to tell you in the previous video but actually um, water brings bacteria water brings lots of bacteria you have to dry it up in this way you don't let bacteria form in the mocha finally we have the conclusion that you you wash your uh, cafetiera every time you make uh, coffee uh, you may use soap or you may use um, vinegar, you may use only very hot water before you place it back wherever you, you, you store your, your, your mocha you just carefully dry it up dry it up very carefully 
Now this is the last chapter of the mocha cleaning and I hope you find this useful for yourself. Don't forget to drink good coffee and to subscribe to my channel. Even though I'm not making many videos but I promise that I will add more content and I will add more value to your coffee life. Thanks for watching.